So it's a nice sunny day and what could be more pleasant to get a visitor at 4 o'clock with a major coolant leak and no performance on the engine. So we thought we maybe take care of that because we got absolutely nothing else to do on a nice day like that. We gonna take a bunch of plastic crap out and see if we find this coolant leak and while we add it we replace an EGR valve. Oh my god. Okay, and that at 4 o'clock. Yes, yeah, the EGR valve is a debacle already. Put something over here. While we drop stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take the intake off. I'm giving the useless shit to Joachim. <laughs> this is ever since you touched my car syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we have a special tool for those kind of clips also. Yeah, I just used it, bonnet. The hood. Into service mode. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The part your car doesn't have. Probably some Land Rover mechanic in the previous life of my discovery forgot to put it back in. The entire job replacing an EGR valve is removing useless crap a Toyota doesn't even have. Or use the scrap, get rid of it. We film when we take it out, okay? Normally men film when they put it in. <laughs> oh, we dropped the seal, that's nice. Like always. Yeah. Good, I got it. Yes. New EGR valve, 120 Ooh. euros. Oh boy. And also if we plug it in, we want to see if the fault is gone. Oh look, it came with gaskets. Ooh. So we can leave the dropped one down in there. Oh, uh, that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here. And now, unfortunately, the car has already been the taken car has apart. Been taken apart. We're gonna have to put this piece back in. We took the rack out. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna extend our repair to a small turbocharger overhaul. Yes. Start it up. Let it spin for a short moment. Turn it off. That's the cleaning cycle of the ETR valve. In so case this, you know. So this ETI is working. Yeah. Is I got to check. If I delete the fault, I want to make sure that fault stays away. So Christian was trying to read faults without putting the gap tool in. Okay, I was just testing you guys. <laughs> so ignition is on. Start it. So no faults. Okay. Now I plug the old one back in. And if the old one generates the fault again, we know we're not wasting our time okay. at this nice afternoon. I got a sneeze. So now the old ETR is plugged back in. Stop it. Exhaust gas recirculation position sensor C is giving us a problem again. So I think it's fairly obvious. Yeah. There's the first bolt. This one is easy. You can see I just take that one out. And now I got to work the next one out which is down here below. And then I have to think about what I'm doing next. Do you pay attention to what you're filming? No, I'm yeah, just pointing the camera like down it. there. So I gotta work these out here. Yeah. See my extension? Yes. Oh, and luckily the bolt wasn't tight. The good thing is on Joachim's car, almost no bolt is tight. <laughs> you don't have to fight them as hard. Which is correct, okay? This bolt only has 10 Newton meters. I can take the magnet. No, you gotta just give me a second, okay? Sometimes I need a second to get it in. Okay, now you need to film how I'm like advancing. Oh no, I pulled it out prematurely. Let me hold it. What oh, are you laughing about? Yeah, I think we gotta change positions. I can't get it out of this angle. There we go. It's in again. Let's let's move it. Ah, no, it's out again. This is my step. Oh, okay. Um, I think if we put on another extension here, finally, don't me, okay? It's going out. Out. Okay. And in another two hours, it's going back in. <laughs> there we go. Oh. There's the proof. 
Can you take it, please? Uh, sure. So that <laughs> that bowl took <laughs> one hour. <laughs> That's warm. This is a regular socket. Is this it? is already advanced Toyota technology. This is not available to a Toyota driver. This is and this is. Land Rover is going to change its name and that sucks. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? We remove the dipstick upper bolt. This way we can bend the EGR valve forward to access the last bolt. See how I can move it now forward? I hope so because okay. I can see it. Now I can get to this bolt here in the back, but I got to wedge a piece of wood in here first. EGR wedge, you can order that online from LR Time. We have it on sale for 98 euros. <laughs> Goes in here, because only who has an EGR wedge will be able to fix this. Damn, my wedge is too small. <laughs> there we go. See? This is the bolt from the... You know what it was. The thing what the LR4 doesn't have. What's it called? The dipstick. dipstick. Dipstick is also the term for a very intelligent car mechanic. Working out the last bolt and I got my Swiss watch tool out. You see it in a minute. 30 <laughs> seconds in the video, but two hours in real world. Okay. So that was my idea. To use my Swiss watch tool? Yes. Look at that. It's working. You can basically see on the level of the sun uh, how long we take for a bolt. Gets dark, it was a hard bolt. Oh, I dropped this index card. Number two, could be hot. Oops, so no, 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 no. <gasps> oh, my, oh God. my God. Now the valve should be able to lift out. I have still two bolts in the valve. And I want to make sure I put those back in right away before I lift the new valve down there because I can't get them in otherwise. <gasps> what kind of a well, disgusting no, bolt is that? No, somebody put grease on it so the bolt doesn't fall out. That's not good. You dropped the... The cap is gone. Probably got eaten up. It got to be in there. We need a mirror. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, it's not magnetic. Here, let me get the big... Oh, why can't I use my hands? No. Like any woman can do. <laughs> wow, luckily oh this God. didn't end up in your turbocharger. So, your EGR valve... Why would it go into the turbocharger? Wait, this is your souvenir. Sure. Aren't you happy? Yeah, you take that with you. <laughs> okay. Papa Grease. Look at that, such an interesting scene. <laughs> Bolt inserted. He's gonna put it back. The difficult part is now to put the seal in between. Oh my God. Now I put the seal in between with one hole. Now I try to seat the bolt. Looking for the hole again. Ah, <laughs> yeah, there it is. I'm using my Swiss watch wrench. This is for example used when you do an oil change on a Rolex. Okay, that takes a moment with my Swiss watch. <laughs> click, 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 click. So, 10.7 Newton meters. 27. I used the wedge from the smart car because the Land Rover wedge didn't work right. I'm going to burn the Land Rover wedge. No, it's a good wedge. We <laughs> sell it for like 90 euros. On ah, okay. Directing it back in. Oh my God. It's almost there. Yeah. See, there's it. It's not, not in a nice angle here. That's good enough. Are you sure yeah. you didn't say click click? EGR valve is back in place and we're done. Good. With this job. With this job. We've got another job. Got another the coolant job. leak. We're going after the coolant leak. And if you can see... What is the diagnosis? Coolant puddle under the junk. What is the first step? Take the junk out. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. The sun's coming around the corner. So we have been going at it for one and a half hours. I think we're doing good. Oh, yeah. I have to go now to the other side. I, was, I didn't know. Oh, that is because the okay, leaves are not yet. <laughs> but careful, don't chunk put is not this important stuff on my, my world. The first suspicious piece is the one highest up, so we're going to replace this plastic piece here. Yeah. Yeah. There might be better ways to get the coolant out, but it's not as funny on the video. Oh, good. That was the first. Oh, you don't even need tools for those. <laughs> ah, look at that. What? I found the leak before you. But there's no see, coolant. See, it's cracked right here. 
No, it's not. It is. See it breathing? Yeah, but there's no coolant leak there. Can you please agree that this is the problem? No, I don't know. I wanted to find it first. Oh. It's all solid. Yes. Now check out this one again. Oh. There is a very small gap. That's where it... Mind the gap. Where it, Mind yeah. the gap, please, yeah. Can you let the man get back to work? <laughs> I have to climb on my step. Ah, oh. oh, this is so enjoying. This is like a Toyota repair. A hand job. It's always a one hand job. I don't know anybody using two hands. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Okay, now everybody sees yes, it. Yes, okay? I saw it before, but Good. could not on camera. I'm just trying. So that one is from the blue box. So. It looks, it has the same finish, it has the same rivets in it. But which one costs more? Joachim is going to pay the more expensive one for sure. One is like 28 and the other one 36. It doesn't bother. You so want to keep the other one for my yeah, car? for your car. I want to have it on stock. So the production mark are the same, so that means they came from the same plant, just the vendors decided to sell them at a different price. What's that? Da. This is a stick of ring. Oh shit. It's kaputt. Fuck. Yeah. This is significant, right? So that is Fabian's uh, oil cooler, which we had to replace because of the bearing failure and everything was full of chips. And here is an O-ring, which is way better than the one from Joachim. Yeah. <sighs> you are gonna owe me oh big time. <laughs> oh, Christian, don't break it. No. Oh okay. It needs to be on stock. Yeah. Probably now that o-ring is in a bad shape it's like sheared off on the side maybe it was mounted without silicone grease i never had this open on your car but it broke in our driveway that's, that's always, always break in our driveway <laughs> unbelievable and we put it back in with silicone grease oh that's now the new expensive part no what the? There's a nice chamfer here. It should go snug in here. Christian found the fitting O-ring in our cheap Chinese O-ring box from Aldi. Yes, which uh, <laughs> which was like 200 O-rings for 6.99. It must be a good length of quality. Let's see if it fits. Okay. Ah, that was smooth. I have two already. I got the other. I'm one. hungry. Oh. And according to Christian, only to 10 Newton meters and not to 47, like I would have guessed. 47 would be like a Toyota torque for <laughs> So I'm very happy because we found two potential causes. A really bad O-ring, which had some shear offs on the side, and a cracked plastic manifold. What an excellent day. Just have to make sure that we don't get it ever since you touched my car. Good. Such an easy job. Okay, now watch this here. I this also has it. an O-ring inside, so we oh. put some silicone grease on this O-ring as well. We would have a spare. For this? Yes. You think so? Yes, because we got a complete spare set of coolant hoses from oh, a nice viewer funny. out of Denmark. So we put this important piece of tubing back in, that's the bleed valve. Put this hose clamp back over it was this tool what Vera found in the bottom of my toolbox and I didn't know I have it. Yes. Okay, now I need that bolt. So putting it back together. Yeah, the owner might be afraid if there is a screw left. <laughs> as long as nothing is rattling, I don't care. It clicked, right? Yeah. Yes. Did I tighten this one or was I just babbling? No, you were just babbling. Okay, click, click. No. Good. You're filming from over there, then people see that I work on a car. You gotta come on your little ladder on this side. Oh my God. I'll take it. With the ladder on. Sometimes he's just... There you go. Nice girl. Okay. I mean, otherwise, you know, they see that I'm losing my hair and that's all. They know that anyway by now. Very well.
Okay, we got more bolts here, Achim. There was this one. Mm. And, and this is 10 newton meter. Click, click. Click, click. Click. We're going to mount this tray back in here. Oh. Should I mount it all over his dirt? Yes. There we go. That didn't sound too nice on camera. Nearly every screw in this car, right? That one sounded good too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> goes back in here. You know that now because we just did that. This goes back on yep. here. Okay, there's even like a spot down there where it goes in. What a beautiful engine. I know that engine now inside out. Can you believe it? Yeah, but I still found the coolant leak before you. Yes, because. A bunch of plastic back on. This goes back over here. See? So you got to make sure when you insert this now here that it nicely slips over this grommet here. Oh, I think now we screwed up. Yes, because you forgot to put Stop that it. thingy. Stop it. Oh you my God. On up. Yeah. Yeah, the big hole. That looks like a ever since you touched my car oh. gap. He had to take everything back off again, got I in a bad mood, couldn't find the extension. Plus, I can cut it out of the video and nobody will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to fill coolant. Otherwise, we're going to have all sorts of faults, which Joachim tends to ignore. Okay. Did I say how easy it is to work on this car? <laughs> we fixed two problems today. Got to put this stuff back in. Very good. <laughs> okay. So this engine is running on 5W40, not 5W dumbass. We're gonna go on a test drive to get some heat into the car and then we see it's, uh, if it's still leaking. And if it's not leaking, then we're done. It looks like the car still drives. That's the minimum requirement after a repair. So we got live data on both EGR valves. That's good. It's directly coming. So you feel the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. EGR blanking in Germany is highly illegal. Yeah, highly. And there is no mercy, okay? <laughs> They will glue yourself to your car then. It was that an easy repair. Started at four o'clock and it's still daylight and we got an EGR valve fixed and a coolant leak taken care of. And at that point we want to thank our patrons a lot for their support and... We'll see you next Sunday. Now that was an easy takeout. <laughs> Looks like I'm obsolete now. It was a major debacle. You know, getting... What is a feta called in English? Spring. Oh, getting those springs in. It was really easy. Oh. We just did it wrong. Okay. <laughs> the problem is by the next time, we already forgot how we did it. Yes. Oh, nice. Cool. And you guys challenge.